Patriarch Stefan Dwayhe, the father of Maronite history. Patriarch Dwayhe was born on August 2, 1630, to Deacon Michael and Mariam Dwayhe in Ehden, North Lebanon. At age five, he entered the parochial school of St. Peter in Ehden. Aware of his intellectual capacity and other qualities, the church authorities sent him to Rome to study in 1641 at the age of 11. He joined the Maronite College of Rome. His professor, Father Sparsa, testified, I taught in many lands and in many universities, but I have not found anybody who has the brightness of his mind and the purity of his life. Because of his intense studying, Stefan became almost completely blind. However, through the intercession of Mary, Mother of God, he miraculously regained his sight. He earned a doctorate in philosophy and theology. His linguistic skills included Arabic, Syriac, Latin, Italian, Greek, Hebrew, French, and Turkish. In 1655, he brilliantly finished his intellectual formation and his reputation spread throughout Europe. However, he declined all tempting academic and administrative offers from universities and royal court. He remained in Rome for another six months, visiting all the libraries and gathering documents about the Maronites. He returned to Lebanon on April 3, 1655, following 14 years in Rome. At the age of 26, he was ordained priest on March 25, 1656, at the monastery of St. Sarkis and Bacchus in Ehden. That same year, he founded a tuition-free school for children at the monastery of St. Yaqub al Ahbesh in Ehden. In 1657, Patriarch Jirjus of Sabale sent him to Aleppo, Syria, on an ecumenical mission. There he was called the Second Chrysostom because of his eloquence. One year later, he returned to Lebanon and was named missionary of the Congregation of the Propagation of the Faith. He was appointed pastor of Ardeh and the neighboring villages near Zgharta. At the age of 37, on July 8, 1668, he was ordained Bishop of Cyprus by Patriarch Georges of Sabale. He visited all the Maronite cities of the island, preaching, gathering documents, and organizing the diocese, which had been vacant for 34 years. He left Cyprus on April 12, 1670, for a short visit to Lebanon. It was the day that Patriarch Georges of Sabale died. On May 20th, 1670, at the age of 40, Bishop Stefan Dwayhe was elected patriarch. Two days later, he was enthroned in Kanobin, Holy Valley, the patriarchal see at that time. Throughout his 34 years of patriarchate, Patriarch Dwayhe did not know rest. Nine times he was forced to flee from his see of Kanobin, hiding in caves from the Ottomans, carrying notes and documents, worrying about his people and praying for an end to their sufferings. He built 27 churches and many monasteries. He ordained 14 bishops and many priests. He protected the Maronite church from Latinization, maintaining its distinguished cultural and liturgical identity. He was instrumental in the foundation of the Maronite Lebanese order, which gave us St. Sharbil, St. Rafa and St. Pantala. He was instrumental in the conversion to the Catholic faith of the Melchi patriarch Cyril. He helped in the establishment of the first Syrian Catholic patriarch. He reorganized the Maronite church, reaffirmed its foundations, endowing it with the precious treasure of his writings. He died at the Sea of Canobin on May 3, 1704. He was buried, as he wished, in the Grotto of St. Marina in Canobin. He wrote 30 extensive books on history and church liturgy and an enormous correspondence to popes, kings, cardinals, and civic leaders. Some of his writings included History of the Times, The Origins of the Maronite, the series of Maronite Patriarchs, the book 
of Enophras, the Book of Ordinations, the Lamb of the Sanctuary, the Defense of the Orthodoxy of the Maronites. He liked to seclude himself for meditation and prayer. He led an ascetic life, given up all luxuries and excess. He used to receive the poor the same way he would receive prominent leaders and wealthy people. He possessed all the qualities of a true scientist. He loved his country and protected its past through his historical writings and stayed close to his people, encouraging them in times of persecution and hardships. Like his predecessors and successors, Patriarch Dwayne had to deal with the Maronite ego, the chronic disease of Maronite politicians, which has always and still is weakening them. It is said that he tried once to gather some of the Maronite prominent leaders in Aitu for the purpose of uniting them under one leadership. The long conversation ended up in failure. At that, Patriarch Dwayne excommunicated them and left. Immediately, a fig tree, overshadowing the meeting, dried up and its leaves fell out. Having been revered as a saint, His Holiness, Pope Benedict XVI, authorized the Congregation for the Causes of Saints to issue on July 3, 2008, a decree on the heroic virtues of Patriarch Dwayne, declaring him venerable. Some of his miracles included raising a dying boy in Bekfeya after the boy was given water mixed with sand the Patriarch Dwayhi walked on. He once stopped a fire in Majdil Marouche. He prevented insects from destroying crops in Jbail, Barbara, and Eden. He is called the Patriarch Saint, the father of Maronite history the pillar of the Maronite Church, the second Chrysostom, the splendor of the Maronite nation, the glory of Lebanon and the Maronites. Patriarch Stefan Dwayne was a giant, a genius, so gifted a person that the world would not see the likes of him for centuries. His biographer, Patriarch Saman Awad, said he was like an eagle flying above all the birds and was among his peers like the sun among the stars. Only a person inspired from above can produce the giant-like and encyclopedic treasure he left for posterity to admire.